Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Eastside Vision Central on May 26, 2023. Uh, we're going to be discussing techniques for gardening with Eastside. And uh, so we're going to be going through some different things that you can uh, do in the garden with Eastside. And that's a topic we've covered covered before uh, previously, but we've got some new footage that we're going to be using um, that, that I think will be helpful and useful for everyone on this call. So thank you, everyone, for joining on the uh Vision Center here um, for discussing techniques of gardening. And so I'm going to open up with the agenda. Uh, so it's going to start with some introduction and housekeeping. And then we're going to learn about some techniques for using eSight when gardening. Then I'll answer any questions at the end if there is any questions. Uh, this is a live, so things might happen uh, for users only. So uh, you can feel free to raise your hand to ask questions throughout the program. You can press Mac option plus the Y key or the PC Alt uh, plus the Y key to raise your hand. And this session only lasts, which only lasts about 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, the basic foundation of using the e-site, you know, uh, we always want to make sure that the fit is important. So, uh, you know, making sure it's comfortable, that on your e-site board that the handle is uh, snug, especially if you're moving around the garden and so forth, you want to make sure that everything feels secure on your head. And e-site is designed to keep you mobile with the bioptic tilt. So utilizing that tilt when you're moving around, uh, if you're trying to do a different activity and so forth, you can use the zoom and then use the tilt to look underneath um, to, uh, to while you're being mobile. Keel management is also important. So just making sure that if you're using an eSight 3 or one of the older models of eSight to have a cord, that uh, you have the cord um, tucked away or it's not necessarily going to snag on anything. Um, you know, you want to make sure it's not like a, a branch or anything that might catch something and just making sure everything is, is nice and, and neat. Um, also, if you're outside for a while, you always want to make sure you have additional batteries on hand. Um, or just a good uh, management system for the battery to swap them out. So if you're going to be doing gardening for a while, sometimes that can be a bit uh, time consuming. You may want to make sure you have another battery on hand. So if you're in the middle of a task, you don't have to go back into the house and get another battery. But it's going to keep one in your pocket. So for today, for the uh, technique for gardening with eSight, we're uh, going to be looking at a number of things today. We're going to be looking at uh, removing weeds with eSight with Leah, uh, and then viewing plants in the store and looking at labels with Jeanette. And Jeanette also has a bird feeder photo that we're going to look at. And we're going to look at a, a plant wall video um, with Judith uh, that she looks after her plant. And I'm going to be showing uh, myself using a string trimmer um, to um, um, remove some weeds in my uh, front yard. So why don't I start off here uh, with the uh, video of uh, Leah removing weeds and uh, Leah's going to talk through the techniques and so forth that she's using. I'm going to open the video right now and make sure everyone can see it. So. All right, so everyone seeing the video there? Yes. All right, Leah. Thank you. So I'm in my front garden. Um, as you can tell, there's a lot of rocks. It's mainly brown with greens. Um, so I've got a couple plants that I want to keep. The main focus that I am on is the clover that you can see there. Uh, that I don't want to touch. That I don't want to touch. <laughs> so, so it's mainly the clover. And I also have um, some maple trees that are starting to grow in the garden just from the we call them helicopters so that's a little tree right there so as long as you get them early enough you know there's no big deal um so a lot of it is using not just the bioptic tilt but also feeling along with your hand um you sort of know there's weeds in the garden, you know, you sort of, you sort of know that they're there. So what I usually do is I go on a path with my hand, I feel across until I find something. And then I will then find my hand with the east side itself to make sure what I'm getting is truly what I need to get, or where the center of it is to pull it up by the roots. Um, and then also to look around the general area that I'm at to make sure I'm not missing anything as I go. Uh, if the area that you're in is pretty prevalent with weeds, as you pick them and get rid of them, it becomes a little bit harder to find stuff, which is sort of what you want. Um, so 
backing out or using the finder to look at your sort of like your next quadrant sort of is a good thing. Uh, it's also good to know what your the leaves that you want to keep, the plants that you want to keep, what they feel like. So the plants that I currently have planted, the deer don't like them, and which is why I have them planted. And the leaves are a little bit rubbery feeling. They're they're thick and rubbery. So I know when I touch something like that, that is not something that I am going to want to pick. So um, that little other little flowery thingy with the purple flower. I didn't know what that was. I have a friend that's really good at identifying stuff. So I contacted her after the video to say like, what do I do with this? You know, so I didn't want to pick it just in case I did accidentally plant it and just not realized. Um, but you always want to just be aware of the plants that you do want to keep. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it. I did back out on my zoom a little bit. It was little bit too close, but there's always adjustments that you have to make as you realize. Um, one of the things that I like to use, I have these flat pavers at the front of the garden. You can just see it right there at the edge of it there. Um, one of the things that I like to use is a push-up bar right there. It's got a foam handle and has for you to be able to do push-ups on and stuff. So I plant that on the rocks about halfway past the garden. And that allows me to stretch across. That way I'm not kneeling in the rocks or anything like that. And it just allows me to get closer to the back wall and everything to help out. But you can see a lot of that was like hand going across and then finding what I was looking for. Perfect, excellent. Thank you, Leah, that's a great video. Thank you for sharing that technique. So next we're going to look at some uh, viewing plants in the store and looking at labels with Jeanette. All right. Thank you, Tyler, so much. So oh, that, I the wrong that, video. See, we're no, live. That's, okay. what, that's what happens. You know, the, the, the point of these, both of these videos, I've got two there and then I'm going to show you a photo. But the point of these is that when you're in a place like a gardening centre, it can be very difficult to pick out what you're looking for in amongst this whole array of products. And some of them look fairly similar and they're all quite colorful. They all have similar writing on, they all look, and they're all stacked up together and they're mixed amongst plants often, plants and flowers. And so it can be a little difficult um, for you to distinguish what it is you want. So with eSight, I find that this was, this was very, very good. Um, I was actually just looking at some different plants items and this ended up being a plant food and I didn't realize I wouldn't have known this without my eSight. I was able to read the, the make of it that you can see there. Let you just have a look at that. And it's turned out to be an orchid um, plant grow, better grow, which I think is probably a very famous make. And you can see that it gets a little blurry when you zoom way up. But if you if you just take your time, you can see that that's a lovely clear writing and clear image. Um, so that was that one, just to pick out some plant food. This one, again, in another part of the gardening center, there's a ton of little packets of seeds and things like that, which I just picked one up because I would have no idea what any of these are without eSight. So I zoomed in, picked one out. And you can see how I'm looking at that. You see that print is fairly clear. See? And it's, um, obviously I'm looking at the brand there. I'm not that, you know, my husband does more gardening than I do, but hey, this was really good. Um, I didn't realize that this was beet, USDA organic as well, which is right up my street, as they say in England. Mm -hmm. um, organic beet seeds. Now, if anybody knows about the backs of seed packets, they will know that the writing is tiny. It's almost like dictionary print. So I 
I really zoomed it up and then it got blurry. And so I used the finder on the eSight 4 remote, which is in between the home menu and the back button, just above the volume. So if, you, if it gets blurry, you can use that finder and it often clears it up, but I'm using this at a really high zoom level. You can, you can read it, it's a little blurry right here, um, but I could still make it out. It's very tiny writing and I've got it at a very, very high level of zoom there. But you can see, you know, we're getting able, we're able to read this and we have the, you see that, you can read that. Um, we have the challenge of this packet of seeds also being a shiny surface. So you've got to navigate the shiny surface with the bright lights in the store and able to read this tiny, tiny writing on the back of that seed packet. So those are, that's, that's how to navigate, um, you know, how to navigate um, products in a gardening center. This was at Home Depot, but any gardening center, you're going to have the same kinds of challenges. Um, oh, excellent. Yes, yes. Um, did you want me to talk about the bird feeder? Yep, I was yeah. just going to introduce that. So, all right. So, <laughs> these two pictures here are pictures that I took when I zoomed up with my eSight onto our bird feeder that my husband put in, in our back garden. Now, you know, I was sitting on a sofa about, because we have a lanai there, uh, I was sitting on a sofa about 30 feet away at least and that the, the it, this is at a height and it's inside that it's kind of in in between the trees so without eSight I only see the trees I don't actually see the bird feeder at all it's hanging on the hanging on a branch on a tree with the eSight I was able to home in on this zoom in on the bird feeder and see some bird activity so on that right hand photo there you can see this big black bird um, feasting on, or he has been feasting on that, on that bird food that you can see in the feeder. And on the left, I think he's down below pecking at it actually. Uh, you don't get a really good picture because it's like from an angle, but can you imagine this without eSight is very far away in trees and uh, can't, I can't see it. Um, so the fact that I was able not only to see it, but to zoom in to this extent and get a real good photograph. <laughs> It's like, you know, at a far distance, camouflage around the trees and we pick this out. Uh, that says something good about eSight. So I would say that if you've got garden objects generally that can be camouflaged by the trees, um, you can use your eSight to zoom in in the area where you roughly know where to look in that direction. But then you're going to be able to zoom in and just move your head very slowly. It's all about being quite patient, actually, um, to find the object of your quest. And then, you know, obviously you can zoom in a little more when you find the object. And, and there we have it. There's, there's the evidence. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Janelle. All right. So next we're going to look at a video for caring for plants uh, with Judith. I'm going to open that up here. Oh, well, that was in. Let me show. Put the sound on. Good. And pause it. Yeah. So everyone can, can hear it here. Start recording. Perfect. Good morning. So today, I wanted to talk to you guys about plants. Um. I'll sort of take a view. This is my living wall, which I have at home. And the reason that I got this was because I'm not so good with plants. I love them, but I find that if I have to fully take care of them on my own, sometimes I have difficulty. So this really inspires me. Um, the plant wall is actually doing quite well. I'm going to show you. I'll scan it. Um, and I'm lucky because I have this reservoir system below that I can put on a timer um, the timer is over here, and it's great because it helps feed my plants on a time schedule. Um, so what I tend to do is I will come over to the wall, and I'll 
kind of glance through. I find if I don't have my eSight and I'm glancing, everything sort of looks the same. But um, I'm just going to back up over here for a second and grab my remote. Um, when I add contrast, I feel like the colors really, really pop. Uh, and then I can see what needs to be picked out or removed. Let's see here. Okay. So see, when I increase the contrast here, this one here to me, I feel that it's uh, fading. And so I can just reach back in and pick it out, which is amazing, because otherwise I could not see to do that. Um, looking around, it's you know, looking pretty good. But just a simple push of the contrast really makes it pop. Just looking through, seeing if there's anything else. See, I think I did a pretty good job. But it really makes planting and taking care of plants a lot easier um, to give it a boost in contrast now and then and shows you what really needs help. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, well, enjoy planting and gardening. And um, really try to maximize the use of your eSight for this task because it really does make it fun. All right, excellent. We got a great video there with uh, from Judith seeing the uh, seeing a plant wall and uh, and looking at that and utilizing that contrast as we all do. Uh, next, I'm going to be showing a video using my string trimmer um, with uh, eSight to uh, remove some weeds in my uh, in my front yard. I'm gonna open that video here. I explain what I'm uh, what I'm doing. So, so in my uh, front yard, I have a number of dandelions and so forth that show up, and uh, I have uh, like to get rid of them with a uh, with a trimmer. And uh, so I'm using my ESET right now and zooming in on them and uh, just seeing where they're located. So around my tree in the front, there's a number of dandelions uh, I actually let grow uh, for the purpose of this video. Uh, and I have uh, my trimmer here. And uh, so I can zoom down and see the head of the trimmer. And then uh, there's the safety switch and the uh, trigger switch. The nice thing is it's high contrast, so it's easy to see the switches on that, uh, on that model, which I thought was, was great. What I like to do is like to zoom in on what I'm going to do, and then as I'm zooming in, add some contrast, and I pull the button on the trigger, and I can now watch it as I'm uh, removing the weeds. And then I'm using, looking up and uh, using the unit lining up to where I want to, to go next to clean up that area. And so I'll use my optic tilt to go over, and then I'll look back down. I'll aim it, add some magnification, some contrast, and then as I'm uh, removing the weeds, I can actually see what, I am, uh, what I'm removing there. And they can go along that, uh, go on that path. And I'm also trying to be very careful of not hitting the plants and not uh, um, hitting any of the uh, the tulips and stuff in the front there. The uh, the area where I'm around has a has a tree that's quite low hanging, and uh, so you'll see them walking through here. You'll see some leaves and stuff can get like right there. I'm just walking around them, and then I'm just making sure I'm using my tilt as I move and looking back through the camera and removing that section there. Now, as you see here, I'm using a bioptic tilt as I go through, and, I, and I'm going to see the weeds over there that are around the, uh, the corner. But as I'm going through, you see the leaves hit the uh, hit the camera, and I actually kind of bumped into the branches a bit because I didn't know I did that low hanging. And so I kind of looked at what I bumped into and went, aha. So I had to be careful. Um, but then once I did that, looked through again, and uh, Lining up the uh, trimmer with the weeds, and then uh, zooming in. I find the contrast is very helpful to see, uh, especially when I'm trying to uh, trying to remove things. It's uh, not exactly a precise technique all the time, um, but it is definitely more helpful without the uh, e sight knowing if I have things lined up. And then there's the edge of the uh, front garden where some of the tiger lilies and stuff are planted. There's some more there. I can actually use that tilt. 
I said, look up a bit, make sure I'm not uh, implementing anything, and utilize that Zoom and the um, and the uh, contract. And what I find I do is if I have a general setting, you know, for, so I think I'm using about um, 10 Zoom or so, I to line up with the head of the trimmer. I'm leaving that Zoom there a bit, and uh, I can kind of eyeball it, you know, I'm at the right distance when I am uh, removing the weeds. So I hope people found that useful. And, and, you know, for me as a person with low vision, I've always been a little nervous around um, gardening tools um, just because I, I never uh, felt comfortable seeing them a bit. And I find with Issa, you know, when I first got the trimmer, trying it with Issa, I was like, wow, I can actually see where I'm lining it up and where I'm doing it. And, uh, you know, to, re to remove stuff. And I find it, I find it, it works very, very well. Especially in my backyard along the fence and so forth. I can uh, s make sure I'm not getting near the plants and stuff, a little garden, uh, flower garden, but actually just removing the weeds themselves. So that's uh, that's everything for the videos here. And uh, if anyone has any questions or so forth, then feel free to uh, to ask questions. And uh, if not, we um, will be definitely available to uh, to speak with uh, to speak with people, I uh, can feel free to call your your coach if you want to discuss the things you've seen in the video, or if you have you know clarification of techniques that we're using um, with with it. What I find um, with with myself is that everything's a little bit of practice with me with using these sites. So using that trimmer, you know, I kind of was a bit slower at first, but now as you can see, I'm able to look through and, and and move quite quickly. So you know, if you're using a new technique with these in the garden, and you feel like you're a little slow, that's okay. It's just not as good practicing and, and getting uh getting through with it but i wouldn't be without my e-sight uh especially in this weather when i'm trying to tidy things up all right if we don't have any questions so I'll, I'll end the uh, webinar for now but thank you everyone for joining hope everyone enjoyed everything enjoyed the video and uh everyone have a good day and look forward to seeing everyone next month at our next webinar thank you and have a good day bye